So today I have Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty. Um, this is the 40th anniversary edition box. So I don't, I really don't even know what to expect. It has Princess Leia on the front. Um, as you guys know, the actress who played her recently passed away like last December. So I think it's, it's only right that they put her on the front of the box. Um, if you want pricing details for this box, off to the side. All right, so on the front, you got the pins here. You got Chewbacca and it looks like, I don't know if that's Luke or who, I, th I think it. I think it's gonna be Luke. I think you're gonna have like the original Star Wars characters since this is the 40th anniversary edition. First we'll start with the patch. Right there, I am not sure, but I think it's Luke. I think it's Luke when he's in the X-Wing. You guys let me know if I'm wrong. And then for the pin, right there's the pin, it's Chewbacca. That should be in focus. And we're good. All right, so patch and pin, pretty good. You got original characters on that. I believe that is Luke, but we'll find out. Uh, all right, we'll take out a smaller box item first. Oh, what? Okay. And you have uh, salt, pop salt and pepper shakers, and you have Han Solo salt shaker and a Greedo pepper shaker. Pretty cool, but um, the only thing is like, all right, so I get the other boxes and we've gotten uh, we've gotten salt and pepper shakers, I think from all the other boxes. So as long as you're signed up to only one of the Funko exclusive boxes, you're good. But if you're signed up to all of them, you're gonna have quite a few salt and pepper shakers. You're probably gonna be getting rid of them or rid of one at least. So next is a big item. I bet it's gonna be a Pop Rides. Millennium Falcon. Millennium Falcon. You, you say Millennium Falcon. <gasps> what? No. Luke Skywalker with speeder right here. So, that is still a really awesome item right here. Uh, I got to take that out to look at it. Whoa. That looks really awesome. Uh, Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty exclusive. There's the front of it right there. I'm going to take him out though. Oh man, yo, that looks, that's insane. That's insane. And he's a bobblehead. And he's a bobblehead. So, right here, you got the little Star Wars placard on the bottom. So, there's no mistaking what it is. He's even sitting down, so I don't even think, he's not a removable pop. He's in there. Right there, there he is. And let's post a little picture here and see how close it looks to the original. Is it pretty close? There's even like, you can see there, there's even like speckle, like the paint is wearing off all over it. Uh, I have to rewatch the movie or whatever was on that picture and we can see like how close it actually looks to the uh, original one in the movie. But a uh, very cool, iconic 40th anniversary pop to get from them. And then, this was kind of in the bottom. Star Wars wristbands, the little cloth wristbands. So when you guys are fighting with your lightsabers, all that arm sweat and wrist sweat you build up, right there, there you go. And that was a wearable item, so it didn't come with a shirt, but uh, salt and pepper shaker and this pop rides, that's pretty big, pretty iconic. So you can't be upset with that. Um, you didn't get a shirt, but you got the wristbands, which are actually really good quality, really comfortable. Um, and then the pin in the patch. So, did not come with a spoiler sheet though, or an info card that shows you everything in the box. Did it? Did it fall out? No, it did not, so that was weird. I thought it was pretty good. Um, I'm gonna have to give it a... A blue rupee, which, if you don't know my rating system, a five to an eight, five to a 7.9, uh, is the blue rupee. The red is reserved for eight to 10, the best of the best. Um, I would have gave this like a solid seven. Blue rupee, solid seven. Uh, salt and pepper shakers, I'm getting kind of uh, worn out with salt and pepper shakers. I think they could have done a Funko Pop instead. It would have been way better if they did a Pop and a Pop Rides. And I think you would have still got the same value because they didn't give you shirts and if they would have put a pop in it would have i i think it would have been better for me i don't i don't care for more salt and pepper shakers oh, it smells so good. 
Yeah, but the pop rides, you can't, I don't think you can beat that. That was pretty iconic. Unless you got like the Millennium Falcon, but everyone rides in the Millennium. I don't know how you would do the Millennium Falcon because it's so big. You wouldn't be able to do a pop rides. It would just have to straight up be the Millennium Falcon. What would have been cool, I think in the third movie, or Return of the Jedi, I think Luke and Leia are riding on the speeder together. I'm not sure. I, I think they're both on it together. Both Luke and Leia on the speeder. That would have been cool. That's it. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys thought of this box. Did they do a good job? Would you have changed anything in the box, the, the ride, or the salt and pepper shaker, or the wristbands? Would you, would you have liked a shirt? Or do you think they did a good job with this box? Comment below with what you thought. That's it guys, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Stay solid.